Hey everybody, I just wanted to share a little bit of progress that I'm making um, with a new Star Wars themed prop that I'm working on. As part of the Rebel Legion, we have the privilege of uh, visiting uh, children and other patients at the local hospital at UMC here in Lubbock, Texas. And with that, we um, a lot of times get to go in and visit them face to face and they sometimes get to hold, uh, we carry extra lightsaber props or they get to see our droids up close or things like that. And it always makes their day. Um, uh, I think that, you know, if they can hold a lightsaber or something cool. And I decided um, I wanted to make a, I had not made a lightsaber. The first one that I had was an Ultra Sabers. And I wanted something that was more kid size, kid appropriate, uh, something themed, something I really haven't seen done, done a lot that's not just a regular uh, lightsaber. I mean, yes, there's regular lightsaber. There's hundreds of styles, near infinite number of customizations people do with colors and, and hilt shapes and... Uh, sound files and everything else and I just wanted something that looked different um, aesthetically uh, something kid size uh, that was also a little bit different um, from the normal lightsaber that you see and I'm gonna go ahead and give credit for the 3d model I didn't come up with this 3d model um, the 3d model that I used here uh, it was made by a user named Hunter Smoke uh, H underscore smoke on thingiverse.com and he came up with this really cool uh, lightsaber that is a it's a Lego lightsaber. I'm going to get it right here for you. This is, uh, it's really, really cool. Um, now that it's painted silver, it looks really, it's very obvious, I think, what it is. And it's it's a little bit smaller. It uses about a six inch piece of uh, chrome uh, drain pipe in the middle here. Um, and then these rings are 3D printed. The top is 3D printed and the bottom is 3D printed. And it comes apart like this. You can see that it's, it's plumbing thread on the bottom and I've actually already gone ahead this is a really excuse the the crudeness of the hole that I cut in the bottom um, I'll show you what that's for um, because I do have electronics that fit inside of it um, I did go to Walmart and I got here it is right here they have those little um, in the back to school section they had these little um, phone charger you know portable battery bank um, you know, if your phone's running low, you can put a cord on it, plug it in. And I went ahead and got one of those. They had them for like five bucks. Um, and so I, I'm sure it doesn't have a whole lot of power to it. But I went ahead and took, got one and gutted it. And you can kind of see there, um, you know, this is, this is where you'd plug in your phone. And then there's a small USB port for charging it back up. And this is the little driver board, controller board. And then it's got a single big battery cell. And the battery on this one, once I cracked it open, I saw that it says uh, 3.6 volt. 3350 milliamp hours so hopefully this will you know it'll, I'm hoping it'll at least last a hospital visit to make the blade run um, and then also uh, in that same back to school little kiosk where they are a little cardboard area where they had uh, these battery cells they also had the LED strips that go around the outside of your TV that are color changing I don't have the remote with me handy but um, the neat thing is is the controller for that LED strip is this big um, so that's actually pretty small, and that's the infrared sensor on the end of it for changing the colors with the remote. But, um, so I wired, if you can see, I just cut the USB portion off and wired it straight to the USB port. And then I added a push button. This has a push button on the side of it normally to turn it on and off, but since this is going to be buried, that's why this end is cut so crudely, is that this is going to fit in here just like this. Um, to be able to, to charge the thing up without, I don't want to ever have to reopen this thing. So anyway, this is going to be inside and then inside the handle. Um, and uh, I'll show you the blade. So I think so far, like this was five bucks, I think $4.88. The LED strip uh, was another $4.88, so that's like 10 bucks there. And I think the poly tube that I bought, this is a poly, you could use acrylic tube or something like and then I cut a, a circle piece of plexiglass. You can't really, I don't know if you can really see much there, but it is sealed on the end with a piece of plexiglass that I glued in the end. And there's a dowel. It's a wooden dowel with the LED strip wrapped all the way up. Then I cut it and then ran four wires to reconnect the circuits and then ran it back down. So it's a run up and a run back uh, connected at the end. And then this is where it terminates or starts right here at the end. So when I plug these, I need to make sure I get it set right because it does matter which way you plug it in. So plug that in like that. And then I will turn on the blade. And I'm not real happy that you can still see the dots. Actually, you can't really that much in the video. But anyway, in person, you can still see the dots. I wrapped it in like a foam 
uh, shipping uh, contain or a shipping packaging um, type foam structure. I don't know if you can really tell. There's some detail. It's just a foam. It's nothing real terribly fancy. I mean, this is kind of a low budget, fun prop to make without investing a ton of time. But anyway, I thought this would be something fun. Again, I haven't put the whole thing together. I wanted to kind of show the components in one video, uh, what, what went into it. So again, I think I've got about $30 uh, total in this prop, I guess, plus paint, plus whatever, you know, glue or whatever incidentals. So anyway, this, I mean, this would be a really cheap prop to throw together if you really wanted to. Um, again, I thought it was pretty cool. And then the, the, the extra hole that's in the base, the base part of this, um, is for the switch. So I'm not, I mean, I'm not putting, the, I didn't want to drill holes in the side because if it's for photos, the, having the charging port and the button on the bottom down here, you know, when you put this thing together, you won't ever see that necessarily because they'll hold it and it'll be, you know, kind of cool. Like, hey, here's my, there's, that's kind of what it'll look like, big Lego lightsaber like this. So anyway, I mean, I think, I think it'll be fun. It'll be something different um, and cool that I don't think we've done before. But anyway, again, I did want to give props to uh, Hunter Smoke for the 3D model of the lightsaber components. It's a really great model. Um, I did scale it. Um, it doesn't fit on the one and a half inch plumbing pipe directly. I think I had to scale it 0.78 or something to fit on there. But anyway, play around it. Make one your, yourself. Um, you can make it with or without the blade. Um, I think he has a model where you don't even have to use metal tubing. I just did the real thin wall metal tubing because I wanted to be able to fit um, electronics guts inside. And then, so it has like a really thin wall like this. And you'll see in the end, I did have to 3D print a sleeve that makes up the difference between the ID of this tube and the OD of the poly tube so that it's it's a nice snug fit when you go to put it together. So anyway, like I said, I wanted to share that with you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of this stuff together. And if I'm wearing the same clothes in the next video, it's because I went ahead and um, got on that and did it tonight. So anyway, if I get that done, I will share that. Uh, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.